I was working in that factory for two years, more than two years. Then sabi ko sa, then sabi ko sa kay Mike, early, um, early 2020, we decided like, dumating na lang yung day na sabi, sabi namin, what if bili tayo ng bahay? Bumili na tayo ng bahay. And then sabi ko sa kanya, yeah, bumili na tayo ng bahay. Kasi, um, dumadami na tayo eh. We're family of five and then we're still living in an apart, a small apartment. Then sabi ko, sabi naman niya, okay, sige. So, nag-start siya, mag-process na bibili kami ng bahay. So, yun na nga, nakabili kami ng bahay in a time of pandemic. Actually, start ng pandemic. Lilipat kami. Nag-start yung pandemic dito. I mean, start yung lockdown. Doon kami lumipat ng bahay. Sabi ko sa kanya, lumipat tayo sa city which is maraming opportunity na ano, na makikita tayo. Kumbaga, sabi ko kasi sa kanya, I know na working in the factory, grabe ang tulong sa atin. Kumbaga, yun ang bumuhay sa amin. We work, we both work in the factory and talaga, yun talaga ang bumuhay sa amin for five years. And then, sabi ko sa kanya, I always told my husband, gusto ko naman mag-improve tayo. Working in the factory is not that bad because we earn money and there are benefits, health insurance, daming benefits, complete benefits. But I told him we want to improve and then we want to try other opportunities. Sabi ko, hindi naman um, forever na gusto kong may stack tayo doon. So, sabi ko sa kanya, we um, look houses doon sa city. So, dito na nga, nahanap namin. Itong bahay na to, eh, this is talaga yung masasabi namin, this is our home. I was still working that time doon sa factory. Then, it's 45 minutes drive. Sabi ko, okay, I'm done working. Nagpaalam ako sa asawa ko na, mag-schooling ako sa Sina kasi yun ang starting point ko yun ang stepping stone ko towards my journey I mean towards my goal tapos yun nag-schooling ako for 3 weeks nakakuha ko ng license sa Sina then sabi ko sa asawa ko okay mag-quit ako ng job kasi gusto ko mag-focus sa review I quit my job for 3 months umbaga I stayed home for 3 months very stressful, very um, depressing kasi nga nag-review ako tapos hindi ako maka-focus. Sabi ko, I quit my job kasi hindi ako makapag-review. But then, nasa bahay ako, stressful pa rin ako. Then, so, nag-book nag, I mean, nag ako, nag-set ako ng schedule for my exam that time. Which is, <laughs> ang schedule ko pa is October 26th hour um, wedding anniversary and then talagang pinagpray ko pinagsikapan ko pero hindi ko nakuha I failed the exam that time sabi ko kay Lord Lord saan ba talaga ako pupunta ano ba talaga ang para sa akin I've been I know I know I I, I get to the point that I ask God Ano ba talaga ang para sa akin, Lord? Kung hindi ito para sa akin, ano yung para sa akin? So, since I have this SINA license, I applied a job. At first, nag-apply ako sa facility, natanggap ako. But then, sabi ko, hindi ko pa nakikita, hindi ko pa nakikita yung sarili ko na mag-work sa facility. So, I refused the job, I declined the job. Then, sabi ko, okay, mag-part-time job na lang siguro ako. So, Again, facility yung nag-open um, for a part-time job. Sabi ko, mm, naisip ko kasi facility ang unahin kong job kasi I'm not sure if if I apply the hospital, if they will accept me kasi wala akong experience as a Sina. I don't have any experience here as a healthcare worker. So, 
sabi ko, well, itry ko nga lang mag-apply ng job sa hospital, which is five minutes away from our house. So, sabi ko, okay, I'll try it. Then, after two months since I applied a job, sabi ko, may tumawag sa akin, nag-contact sa akin, nag-schedule ng interview. Then, natanggap ako. So, syempre, I was so happy that time na my first job as a healthcare worker, I mean, as a healthcare worker, um, sa hospital. Kasi, alam nyo naman, back in the Philippines, wala tayong mga facility like home care, ganyan. Mostly yung mga experience as a student nursing before, talagang sa hospital, sa mga lying ins, yun ang mga experience na nakuha natin before. So I'm so ha I was so happy that time nga talaga na work na na tanggap ako sa job na yan and until now I am still working in there. Nung mga time na first month it's like oh my god I like this job. It's not e it's not an easy job but I like this job <laughs> sabi ko. Nasabi ko Lord I belong here sabi ko sa I always pray sabi kasi at first na tako talaga ako to deal with the patients kasi Cause to deal with the people, as it's a factory, you don't have to deal with the people. It's like, walang pake alamanan. In healthcare, if you work in this it's, um this field, you have to interact with your patients. So grabe, always ako na be praying na Lord. I hope na maibigay ko yung best ko sa patient ko. I hope na bigay ko kung ano ang dapat para sa patient ko as as sina as a nursing assistant. So ano yung trabaho ko maibigay ko. So, yun nga, um, so far, nagustuhan ko. At nung the time na nag-take ako ng exam, na na-fail ako, um, I, I did this trick to find out if you failed or not. Sabi ka pa, hindi mag-go through yung um, payment mo, meaning, pumasa ka. But, if it goes through, I mean, pumasok yung payment, which supposed to be, papalitan ng pala yung, ano, PIN number. But, sa akin, hindi ko napalitan. So, nag-direct yung payment ko that time. So, I don't have a choice with this span of six months. I have to take, retake the exam again. So, I don't have a choice. So, that time na nag-start ako mag-work sa hospital, parang hindi na ako ginanahan mag-review. Mag Sabi ko, napagod na ako. Well, nag-review ako like, pakunti-kunti, nag-practice questions lang. Sabi ko, um, I worked my ass reviewing all of this last year. Tapos ngayon sabi ko, bahala na. Magtitake na lang ako. So, I rescheduled my, I rescheduled my, um, exam date for five times since. Since I, I pay that, um, I, I pay the, that $200 in person review. Five times. Kasi sabi ko, my God, hindi pa ako ready. Natat I mean, I'm afraid to take that exam again. I'm afraid to to fail the exam again. So, sabi ko, I bargain. <laughs> Nag-bargain ako kay Lord. So, yun na nga, I accidentally um pay the person view after doing that trick. Um, to find out if I fail the exam, if I pass or fail the exam in person view. So, my payment, um, um, my payment go through. So, kinalatas na ng pera yung credit card. So, I don't have a choice but to retake the exam again. So, I have six months span of time na easy take, that I ha I need to take that exam. Kasi my authorization to test will expire after six months. So, I rescheduled my exam date for five times. Five times because I was so afraid to fail the exam again. I was not ready. I'm like, I was so afraid like, oh my God, what if I'm going to fail the exam again? What if, so many what ifs in my mind. But then, I, I'm working at the hospital and then... I always read this um, message, if you want to achieve your goal, I mean, if you want to achieve your goal, um, be with the people who already achieve what, 
who already achieved your goal so they um they can inspire you i mean it will inspire you to become one so it's like maybe it's a good timing that i work in the hospital because it that's um the place i really want to work work at and then i love my job as a Cena. i don't complain i love to communicate my patients so yun nga nangyari Tinaming ko yung exam date ko that I'm not working. I have three days off that time. So on the third day of third day of my off, I set my exam. Then on the day of my exam, a minimum, the minimum is 75, and then the maximum um questions um is like 145, 145. So you nga. So my computer shut off at 75. Sabi ko sa husband ko, I failed the exam again. Kasi yung exam ko, I find it not really hard. Because my previous exam, it was hard, really hard for me. It's like it took me four hours, I don't know, five hours to finish that exam. So this time, I finished um, almost three hours. For that 75 question only. Then I told him that I failed the exam again. Let's move forward. Let's move on. And then then after that, I asked him if we gonna open the trick again. And he said, no, don't screw up. And then that's what he said. And then so I moved forward. I told myself that I failed the exam. I didn't expect. Then after more than a week okay more than a week since i i took the exam i searched my name in that board of nursing i searched my name what if so i woke up feeling okay feeling so light and i'm like what if i op i search my name on that board online and my name pop up with the license number. Oh, I was suck. I was like I was like a baby crying. I didn't I can't believe it. And then I cried. My husband cried when I told him, Oh my god, oh my god, I passed the exam. He cried and then I called my sister, like, oh my god, oh my god, this is it. And then my sister told me, What was wrong? <laughs> She thought that there's an emergency because I was crying. I didn't tell her right away because I want to see that pass in the person view. So I told her that you have to wait, you have to wait. I need to open this first before I, before I tell you. So I opened the person view and then I saw that word pass and I'm like, oh my God, this is it, this is it. I passed the exam and I told my sister, maybe it's, this is, um, a good karma from my patients because every time some of my patients told me that you know what why don't you um proceed to become a nurse you have this passion i can see that i can see your passion they always told me that and i can tell them that I am already done that 11 years ago. I graduated 11 years ago because they always told me that I am still 19 or 20 years old because of my height. But I always told them that maybe soon, maybe in the future. That's I always answer them. So finally, I am a registered nurse now here in the U.S. And... I know this is the start and the big responsibility. Um, that RN extension in my name is a big responsibility. Um, it's a big responsibility because you are dealing with people, taking care of people. So now that I passed the exam, I am planning to I am planning to endorse my license here in Michigan so I can work as a nurse. Kumbaga, passing this exam 
is just the start of the, my journey. Lord Jesus, give me hope. Give me um, chance to show him that I asked it, I asked this, I prayed for this, and he answered my prayer. So I have to prove him that I deserve this. I deserve this license. So I am planning to work as a nurse. I mean, I will work on endorsing my papers here in Michigan. So, ito na nga, nurse na nga. <laughs> nurse na, I'm so happy. And I hope for those people who are um, um, struggling or um, like when you, um, when you feel that you are going to give up, don't give up. I almost, I almost give up. But because of the people surround me, push me, especially my husband, push me, encourage me to don't give up your goal, don't give up your dream. So, ito na nga, ito na yung start. Ito na yung start. So, nabuksan ko na yung gate towards my, <laughs> towards my goal, towards my dream. And then that's the end of my story. And I'm very thankful for everyone who supported me. Maraming maraming salamat. Uh, sa mga tumulong sa akin. Ho. And then for the people who comfort me every time I feel down. Thank you so much. 